On October 20th, 2019, Suspicious Observer Ben Davidson reported on a new study of the South Atlantic Anomaly, an area where the Earth's magnetic shield is its weakest and where the Earth's inner Van Allen belt comes closest to the Earth. Ben believes this may be having an impact on the path the poles are taking in the pole reversal, and indeed may indicate where they will pass each other on the opposite side of the planet. And now in the same realm, a very interesting paper here details a dip in the ionosphere at the South Atlantic Magnetic Anomaly. It's the weakest field point on the entire planet. I want to bring back archive video from almost exactly one year ago on why that is the weakest point in the fields. This video is meant to be a quick reminder about a sensible and physics-based explanation for the South Atlantic Anomaly, one that doesn't require interpretation of Earth's core soundings based on earthquake waves going through them. However, we must begin with the magnetic poles. For those who are just joining the program, both north and south magnetic poles are moving. South Pole is well ahead in terms of motion, having already left Antarctica, but the north is moving much faster, racing across the Arctic Ocean. As this is happening, Earth's magnetic field is weakening as well. Let's take a close look at the pole motion. The north isn't really bending, that's just how it looks on a rectangular projection. The red is where it is going into the future, and the other colors are what has happened so far, and its path here would have it heading down through Siberia towards the Indian Ocean. The south magnetic pole is slowly traipsing up into those waters already and is on a line to meet somewhere in the ocean there, but exactly where is tough to say. One thing is for sure, the South Atlantic anomaly is found on the opposite side of the planet. This anomaly, the blue asterisk, is a weak point in Earth's magnetic field, exposing the region to higher levels of cosmic rays and charged particles from the magnetosphere and Van Allen belts during CME impacts. The questions tend to revolve around the concept of why it is weakening, and often the emails are accompanied by a link to a paper about core or mantle characteristics beneath the South Atlantic anomaly. Well, there are certainly plenty of those papers that exist, but a much better explanation involves the magnetic field effects over distance. As you move a magnet closer to metal, the more you feel the tug. The further you go from the magnet, the less attractive force is there to be overcome. This is the first thing young children learn when playing with magnets. It just so happens that the point where the magnetic poles are set to meet is the exact opposite spot in the world from the South Atlantic anomaly, and indeed, both magnetic poles are moving further away from that point. Why would one expect not to see a drop in magnetic fields there if the magnetic poles are moving away? And why would one need to go searching for another explanation? Remember, we've never actually been more than a fraction of the way through the crust. The mantle and core are still largely a mystery, and there is mainstream science-based explanations for the South Atlantic anomaly that are not mentioned in one single piece of the journal literature. To summarize, they want to explain this weak spot with core mantle boundary conditions beneath Africa and the Atlantic, but all you need to comprehend is how a magnet works. Greater effect the closer you get, and its force diminishes as you move it away. Both magnetic poles of Earth are moving directly away from the South Atlantic anomaly. Viewers of my channel will recognize the location Ben described as the likely route for the pole reversal, as in fact the near-impact site of the Venus Cataclysm 12,900 years ago. Ben is correct to say that you just need to understand how magnets work. As Venus approached, the magnetic poles of the two planets began to align, a process understood by most middle schoolers. The greatest alignment of the Earth and Venus's magnetic shield, and therefore likely the cores, occurred at the Eurasian Plateau near impact zone. This alignment process likely grooved the crust of the Earth both physically and magnetically as the poles traveled there in the cataclysm. The path the poles are taking towards our current reversal are then simply the paths of least resistance. At the moment of the impact, the two planets' magnetism and electrical potential would have stacked like batteries. This created a temporary zone of highly charged south pole, and the South Atlantic anomaly represents the polarity point of the southern magnetic field opposite the Terran Basin impact zone. The core and the mantle were massively impacted by this event. Their study of these zones is important, and the answers do revolve around the magnetic field over distance. It's just that the distance we should look at is the distance Venus was to the Earth in the cataclysm, and the effect one magnetic field had in combination with the other. Scientists and researchers will gain an incredible amount of perspective on a variety of geological anomaly the moment they accept that a cataclysm of incredible magnitude happened 
12,900 years ago. The planet Earth was hit by the planet Venus. That is a fact that should be taught in school starting tomorrow. Please like, share, click that subscribe button, and leave me a comment down below. Peace.